We've been seeing a shift in attention to beauty, aesthetics, even photographic beauty, um, with perhaps less attention to a more holistic architectural experience. The Touch is a book on interiors and architecture, where we try to investigate spaces that are created for all the human senses. The Touch has been our opportunity to, to discuss what those elements are that come together to make us feel that, that sense of, of connection, of, of community, of true tactility. The Touch is actually a book that's part of a process that started for me back in architecture school in 2002 when I first picked up a book by Finnish architecture professor Ioanni Palasma. It's called The Eyes of the Skin. And it's basically about understanding atmosphere and how our body as an organism perceives space with all our senses. At Kimfolk, our editorial team has always been deeply interested in quality of life. And with that, digging into the sense of community, connections, and a sense of belonging. Um, of course, a lot of that happens within spaces, both public and private. Um, but in order for us to dig in deeper, it was necessary for us to link arms with, with a team such as Norm that was truly specialized and experienced in designing, building, uh, creating these types of spaces. And looking for the right partner to publish uh, Gestalt in, uh, was an immediate choice as they've specialized in architecture and inspiring creativity for the last number of years. A core principle in our selection uh, of cases in the touch has been a consideration of timelessness. I think in all good architecture and all good design, it's a balance on making something that is on one hand so simple that it can stand the test of time and on the other hand, it has so much character that it keeps on being relevant for the users of a, a space. And by covering the foundations, the, the pillars that we consider are necessary for haptic design or design that is there for the human senses, there's also a level of fluidity. You, know, you can create a space that is, is based on materiality, um, the basics of color, but as humans, as we are evolving and changing, uh, what we need from those spaces changes as well. And that's, that's an important point, that there's timeless principles that can be used, and then there's that flexibility that they, they evolve, and they grow and they change.